Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm going to show you how I make my wild rice stuffing for Thanksgiving dinner. So let's get started. All right, what I have here is about three cups of cooked uh, wild rice blend. So it's got, I think it has some brown rice in it. It's got the black wild rice and I think the red. I don't know, it was a blend I got from Glory Be a while back and I'm just about out of it. But I will be linking below to the Lundberg wild rice blend, which I know is three different ones, including brown rice. And um, I'm gonna be trying that one next once I'm out. This was one and a half cups of the dry wild rice cooked in three cups of filtered rainwater. And now I'm getting ready to add my other ingredients that make it specifically a stuffing that I like to put in the turkey and then also serve on the side. So I'm starting with about a quarter cup of butter and I'm just gonna, this is grass fed butter. I'm probably not gonna use all that because I'm trying to come up with measurements for you since I never actually use measurements, I just do things by sight. I'm going to drizzle that over and I'm thinking that's probably going to be plenty, but then again, can you ever have too much butter? However, you got to consider if you're putting it in the turkey, it's going to be soaking up a lot of the juices and oils from the turkey itself as well. So I think I'm just going to stick with, that was about an eighth cup. Now for here, I've got almost a cup of diced apples and I'm going to throw those in there. I had those sitting in just a little bit of grapefruit juice to keep them from oxidizing while I finished up my other stuff. And then here I have about two tablespoons of my cut up homegrown and fermented garlic. And you can find a video on how I ferment my garlic right up here. I'm going to toss that in there. And then I'm going to put in at least one cup of chopped onions these are ch chopped a little bit on the big side so a new thing I want to try in my stuffing this year is the freeze-dried mushrooms I was talking about in this video right up here where I was talking about some new freeze-dried and dehydrated foods that I've been trying out and been very happy with so um, I tried them yesterday Let's see, let's put in about a little over a quarter cup. I tried them yesterday in my homemade um, chicken and biscuit pot pie, and you can find that recipe right up here. But again, I say recipe, but these are things that I change every time. I don't always do it the same. But anyway, I tried it in there, and it just had a really nice flavor and even smelled like cream of mushroom soup when it was cooking. So... Um, Anyway, so we're going to try those in there. And I didn't rehydrate them because I figure once this is in the turkey and it's soaking up all those great juices, it's these things are going to rehydrate just fine. So it's the only, besides the herbs, it's the only dehydrated thing I'm actually using in here. So it shouldn't be a problem. Now I'm going to put in a little bit, about oh, a teaspoon of Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. And... You can find a link to this below, to the one that I buy or I bought. But once this is gone, I'm only going to be doing the Redmond Reel because it's my favorite. And I actually buy that by the uh, one gallon bucket size. And so I'll be linking to that size below from here on out. Usually I link to the smaller, smaller package for those who want to try it. But you're going to get the best value buying the, um, the one gallon bucket. Okay. So now some of my herbs and spices, I'm going to put in some red pepper flakes. And even though a lot of the herbs I'll be putting in, I actually grow myself, not the red pepper flakes, but these I will link below. But um, I will also still link to any of the herbs that like I used to buy, such as the oregano and the sage and stuff, before I started growing it myself. Um, here I'm going to use golden oregano. You can use regular oregano. So I'm saying about a tablespoon of each of these. And again, with red pepper, you're going to want to go, you know, just about whatever you feel comfortable with. I find red pepper flakes themselves are just not really that hot. So I can do quite a bit when using it like this. But I find that when I put it to fermented stuff, it gets spicier. 
for whatever reason. Okay, and then the same with the thyme. So we're going with a real savory type of flavor here. The sage, or the oregano, the golden oregano. The golden oregano, you can find a video to that right up here. I also grow myself. It is, um, it is a slightly sweeter and more mild form of oregano. It's not hot like regular oregano, which I really like, at least for my Italian cooking. But for other cooking, I'm finding that I like the golden oregano a little bit better for things like this. So next is the sage. Got to have sage when you're talking savory, at least as far as I'm concerned. And at least a tablespoon of that. This is all homegrown. And of course, I like to always add in my mixed greens to anything that I possibly can. So that is going in here. And you can find a video on my mixed green blends right up here. And then just for a little added health bonus, I'm going to put in a couple tablespoons of poppy seed. You could also put in some flax seed as long as they're ground or pre-soaked. Um, I thought about doing that, uh, but I didn't cook them into the rice and I thought about it too late. So I didn't want to just put them right in here because I'm not sure if they'll actually cook or soak enough uh, to make them digestible. Um, in the stuffing itself. So then we're going to take, I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to put one more thing in here. I always like to smell it. That helps give me an idea. I'm going to go ahead and put in some granulated garlic. I usually do both. I'm going to do, or sometimes all three, I'll do fresh garlic, sliced dehydrated garlic, and granulated garlic. So that's at least a tablespoon. Again, you'll want to taste this and make it according to your own taste preferences. You might want to leave out the apples if you don't want that slightly sweet flavor in there. And then some other options I, was cons I, I would really like to do, but I get concerned of making it too hot, is putting in some dehydrated jalapenos or other peppers. And I want to show you, you've probably seen this in a couple other videos, this beautiful jar of peppers that Ellen sent me and thank you again Ellen for this it's just beautiful I'm, I'm reluctant to break into it yet because it's just so pretty I like it sitting there and just um, looking lovely but eventually I will use it but for now I'll use up my uh, the jalapeno peppers I have dried up and then once they're gone I'll be dipping into that so but that's an option if your family likes spicy but whenever you're doing something for Thanksgiving you usually got to keep it kind of medium because you just you know everybody's got different tastes when it comes to hot and spicy so anyway i want to give you a little history on these this dressing now as far as the first of all as far as your fat that you add to it um if you're a vegan and you're not doing a turkey so this is going to be something you serve on the side just use olive oil when i first started making this um i had a lady the reason I went with the wild rice stuffing, it was something I just made up on the fly because we invited some friends over and it was when I first heard about celiac disease and she had celiac disease and she also could not handle dairy at that time. And so I was trying to be very careful to make things that did not have any gluten or any dairy in it. Now she could have the turkey because she wasn't vegan, but so I came up with this recipe and it ended up being a much bigger hit than just my regular bread stuffing and I used olive oil in that and it was really good but the only reason I'm not using olive oil in this is because I'm out and I keep forgetting to get more but we really like butter anyway and so that's uh, that works for us all right so there's what it looks like up close let's turn it towards the light and kind of see some of the different colors and stuff in there and uh, yeah so I'm just going to stick it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to stuff the bird on Thanksgiving morning. Hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving.